Hi everyone, this video we will go over mapping. I use a string method. So first I'm gonna do my vertical lines. Um, I like to do the center. I use the cupid's bow, which is the lip, to determine where that goes. Second, I'm gonna use the creases of the nose right here. If you've taken my classes, you'd know exactly where um, these lines are supposed to go. Um, but then I'm gonna create these lines. You can see these two vertical lines. There's one line that's way thicker and one that's thinner. Um, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna put it more in the center. That means it was just off So these lines need to have like an even amount of gap Also, um, they are going to be all parallel from each other So I don't want to make sure that it's not thicker on one side than the other Then I'm gonna use the nose and I'm gonna use the corner of the eyes This determines how long the eyebrow is gonna be some people have Bigger eyes, so they're gonna have longer eyebrows. Some people have littler eyes. So their eyebrows might be a little bit shorter um and I kind of use their natural eyebrow also to determine where the line is supposed to end. Here is where I um, determine where the arches are going to start. So this is means where the eyebrow is going to start bending. So the eyebrow starts going up and then it starts going down the arch. I generally use their eye and again where their natural eyebrow starts. Um, sometimes if people have a wider face, I want that part to be wider. If they have a more narrow face, I'll probably bring it a little closer. Then I use my measuring tool to make sure it's the same on each side. Very, very important that everything is symmetrical. So I will go ahead and mark with my string here also. And you wanna make sure that your string work is really clean, crisp, and erase any other lines that are mistakes because later down the road, I promise it will confuse you. This is the part where we're gonna measure and make sure the front of the brow equals the same and the tail of the brow equals the same. If it doesn't, go ahead and adjust. We're gonna go ahead and start with our horizontal lines. I usually like to do this sitting up, but for the video, I did it laying down. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the bottom of the brow and the top of the brow. This is a common part where people make too thick. Remember to keep it thinner. Thinner is a sweeter, beautiful, more feminine look. Um, the third horizontal line I'm going to create is the arch of the brow. This is going to be how high up her brows are going to arch. Another common mistake is people make their arches too high, so keep it nice and snug. Just follow their natural hair. I did sit her up. She's laying back down now so that I can make sure everything was um, nice and even while she's sitting up. Now, if you've taken my class again, you'll know right here I'm connecting the dots and I'm pretty much just outlining the string with her eyebrows according to the lines that we created before. So whatever I do to one side, I'm gonna do to the other side. I'm gonna snatch um, from corner to corner using my string, boom. You can see where I'm kind of outlining, um, but I'm using the lines again that I created before. This is her tail. I'm gonna go ahead and close in the tail next. And this um, determines how thick the eyebrow is gonna be, also the tail. And then I'm gonna take my string and I'm gonna close the bottom of the eyebrow up. And I'm gonna do it light, light enough for me to see because the next step, I'm gonna take my china marker and I'm gonna outline the entire brow. Here I am with my pencil and I'm gonna just outline everything at a tight, tight um, stretch and outline the entire brow. I'm gonna do whatever I do to one side, I'm gonna go ahead and do it to the other. But like I said, stretch is key. Make sure you stretch that eyebrow and follow those lines that you created. Again, if you're keeping your mapping really clean, you're not going to get confused. If you have your pencil sharpened really well, you're gonna get clean lines. So make sure when you're mapping to keep everything nice and clean. Um, I usually don't remove the hair yet, but if you feel like it's gonna help you to remove the hair first, go ahead and do that. Okay, here I'm just doing the other side. Okay, I'm done with the other side. I like to erase some of the lines because I'm going to show my client next to make sure that I am not making these eyebrows too thin or too thick for their likings um, before I you know, try to perfect the shape. I wanna make sure that we're on the same page. So I'm gonna erase all these lines because if you show your client with all these lines, they will be confused. They just see like a big mess. And I like to show my client this rough draft, like I said, to make sure that we they're gonna approve it and I'm not gonna perfect the shape again. That is too thick or too thin for their liking. So I'm gonna show her, she's gonna look, she'll have some questions for me, I'll consult her. Um, I'll let her know we'll work more on symmetry, but she approved the shape, so we're gonna go ahead and move forward. 
if they don't approve the shape and they want them thinner they want them thicker go ahead and adjust guys on this step now that they approve the shape i am going to go ahead and remove the hair outside of the shape i generally personally like to keep the hair on because what if they want their eyebrows a little bit thicker and i just removed way more hair than necessary also i'm only removing the hair outside of the shape i'm also going to take my little scissors and groom where need to be once the hair is all cleaned up my next step is just to clean everything up i like to use a makeup remover and i just dab it off on my glove so i don't have too much of the product and i use a lip applicator and i just clean 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 because um i just want it nice and clean um, especially because later i will start concealing the eyebrows so i had my client get up and i wanted to check her sitting up and make sure the eyebrows look symmetrical and even while she's sitting up i cannot stress it enough that you need to sit your clients up multiple times throughout the procedure to make sure that your mapping looks good sitting up everything looks good laying down um, make sure you set them up okay guys um, the next part here is me taking my pencil. Sorry, I think that the camera moved a little bit, but this part, I'm just going to start filling in the eyebrows. So you can see here that I filled in the brow with the pencil. I like to give it the ombre effect even with my mapping. So I will um, darken up the tail and then in the front, I'll do it pretty light. If you guys do do it too dark up front, you could just take a Q-tip and kind of smudge it here i am taking concealer and i am concealing the edges making everything nice and clean if you want a nice clean ombre um the key to that is a nice clean mapping guys you want to know exactly where to outline and if you have a nice clean mapping you will not get lost and it will come out beautifully so you continue to just conceal the bottom um, you don't really have to blend. I like to blend because when I show my client the final mapping, um, it just gives them an idea of what the ombre brows is going to look like. I also take the concealer and I start concealing the top of the brows. Again, I think if you conceal the top of the brows, it just gives them that really clean, crisp look. And it's going to help you out when you are outlining the brows and creating an ombre brow with your tattoo machine. So I also like to make sure everything's clean. So I'll take my tweezers. If I feel like my mapping has some hair in the way when I'm concealing, then I'll just get rid of that. Again, remember, we're prepping these eyebrows to be ready for a clean outline. So whatever I do on one eyebrow, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat on the other eyebrow. I will go ahead and fill in this brow and make sure I cleanly conceal everything up. Again, even after mapping and doing the concealing and stuff, just um, make sure to sit your client up to make sure everything looks nice and symmetrical. Okay, so here are the results. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the results of her mapping. She approved, I approved, so I'm going to go ahead and start tattooing. This is the tattooing results. Go ahead and follow and comment if you guys have any questions or want any other videos.